Hi, I'm Jimmy Lewis, and I'm going to show you how to apply rail tape to a rail of a board. This is Buzzy Kerbox's new black and blue machine nose riding board. And uh, I'm going to show you the best way to get this rail tape on. This is uh, rail tape from uh, Puka Patch. It's called Rail Saver, and this is the best rail protection on the market today. It's thin, you, can't, you can barely see it when it's on the board. In fact, you have to come up to the board and look at it to see that it's on there. And you can whack this as hard as you want with a paddle, it doesn't cut, doesn't split, and it doesn't come off. I'm gonna show you, here's some of the things you're gonna to wanna to use. Um, this is a soft squeegee, like a shower squeegee. That, uh, it's the technique that they showed me up at 101 Surf Sports. And here's a plastic squeegee. This is the kind I like to use as well. This is the one that, that is uh, supplied with the rail tape. You can use this. I kind of prefer this one. And I got a rag to wipe the rail down. So the first thing I do is take the tape and you figure out which side is the clear and which side is the, the backing on it. You want to take the backing off. And you don't want to actually touch the tape with your finger because you'll leave a fingerprint or an oil mark. It might not stick right there. So what I do is I take my plastic squeegee, which won't leave a mark, and I grab that open part and then I start peeling this off like this. Okay. See? Now, then I kind of grab a hold of this with the squeegee without touching it with my fingerprint. Now, this is ready to put on, kind of. So we'll set this aside for right now. Set that aside. Now, you get a bottle with water in it, and you put a little bit of soap, uh, dish soap in it, like maybe a quarter teaspoon or something. And you spray the entire rail where you want to do it. Now, when you put the, the tape on, the paddle doesn't hardly touch on the bottom of the board. It's mainly hitting on the top and on right at the apex. The apex of the rail is the very outside of the board. If you can look at this here, where I'm touching, if I hold this straight across, that's the apex of the rail. So when I put the tape on, I want the tape to maybe go a half inch below that, but most of the tape is going to be up on the top where the paddle's mainly hitting and it hits right at the apex. So anyway, now, I take this rag, wipe all any dirt and stuff off. This is a new board, so it's pretty easy to do. And then you spray the rail. And you want to make sure you spray a lot of water, even on the area where the tape might not stick. Because the idea here is to put the, put the rail tape on it, and you can slide it into position because of the soapy water. And if you don't, if you leave a, a part dry on there, the tape might get stuck down and you gotta lift it up to move it instead of just sliding it. Okay, now, and it kind of helps if you have another guy helping you, but it's not necessary. I can do this by myself. See, I've got the piece here, and then I peel this off as much as I can. And then you spray the soap onto this tape also. This, I'm spraying it on the sticky side. And some people might think, well, how does it stick? I can't explain it, but it does. Okay, now, I already know where I want the tape. The paddle doesn't usually come much farther than this, so I'm gonna start the tape up about there, just to be safe. And you gotta make sure you don't drop it down in the dirt down there. So, I'm just gonna lay it on here. And then I'll peel this off like that. And then I'm laying it down on here, and I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to peel the rest of it off the back here. Now it's on there. Now I'm going to kind of move it in position. And as I said, I'm looking for the bottom of this tape to be about a half inch below the apex of the rail. And this tape doesn't want to bend a whole lot like this into the rocker, so up here it might go down a little bit farther than what it is here because I'm not, I don't want to bend it too much this way or else it makes kinks that don't want to come out. So now I've got it, and I've got it in the position I want. I spray some more soap, soapy water on the top of it too here. 
Then I take this soft squeegee. Now you want to squeegee it from the center. Like here's, that's the length of it, that's the center. And you also want to squeegee it from the center of the tape this way, out in that direction. So I'm just going to put the squeegee right on, just slightly above the apex of the rail, because that's the center of the tape of the width, and it's the center of it this way, and I'm just going to like press down going from no middle to the back, and then the same thing this way. Now I'm going to, I'm going to start squeegeeing it in a direction like this, kind of like a snow plow. I'm going to hold this on a slight angle like that, pushing the tape in the, toward the bottom of the board, just in long strokes like that. And that's attaching it down almost perfectly, and I'll do the same thing on the back, holding it like a snow plow on a slight angle, pushing it toward the back and downward. Now I'll do it on the top, coming toward the deck of the board, like that. And it's squeegeeing most of the water out, and all of the air bubbles are coming out. Now, the next step is you want to take this squeegee, or you could take that little plastic one that they supply. I kind of like this one because it flexes a little bit more, but you want a, hard, a, a harder edge than this to finish it off. So, same thing. Center of the tape, I just take it and I'm, and I'm pressing kind of hard here. And I'm squeegeeing even more of the water out. And this is what really gets the tape stuck down. I went from the center toward the tail, now I'm going to go from the center toward the front. And it gets it down and then I like the same technique I used with the soft the soft squeegee, I'm going to put it kind of on an angle like a snow plow and go down toward the bottom of the board and then toward the top of the board, toward the top of the board this way. And I'm holding the squeegee like this, kind of bending it to wrap the shape of the rail. Beat up. 